The leading cause of catastrophic injury in female high school and college athletes is cheerleading. That's according to leading pediatricians. Based on that information, the American Medical Association last year adopted a policy that cheerleading be recognized as a sport with all its risks and rigors. So why aren't New Jersey coaches tumbling with joy at the prospect? We asked Aaron Delmore to find out. Thanks, Mary Alice. Cheerleaders are some of the most athletic kids in their schools. There are varsity and JV teams. They travel for competitions. Basically, it looks like a sport. But a debate over that label has coaches up in arms and maybe not on the side you would think. They tumble, flip, lift, and toss. It's hard to deny the athleticism in cheerleading, but is it a sport? New Jersey legislators are pushing a measure that would officially make high school cheerleading a competitive interscholastic sport governed by the State Athletic Association. But that group isn't sold on the idea. Do we really help the sport by sponsoring it or would we actually put more obstacles in the way of the schools that already compete or any school that wants to you know, start a, a cheerleading uh, or spirit uh, team right now. The bill would set fixed start and end dates for the season and would limit when coaches can contact members. The New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association would have the final say on where and when teams can compete. And out of state travel might be out of the picture. So some cheerleading advocates would rather not change the status quo. I think the parents are saying, oh yeah, they're athletes, let's give them all the credit they can, but they're not realizing that the wording of the bill makes their season very short, gives them certain parameters in which they can and cannot do, and all that good stuff that they do in the community will go away. Currently, schools manage their cheerleading programs individually. Some are clubs, others are called athletic activities, and a bunch are already sports that allow students to earn varsity letters. The bill also includes safety regulations. Experts say those are top-notch, but not necessarily new. The safety standards that the bill would impose, they're already present. On a professional level, if someone wasn't following those policies, they would be setting themselves up for a huge liability issue. So I don't think there's an athletic director or athletic supervisor out there that doesn't follow the policy. Officials at the NJSIAA say that cheerleading doesn't need their stamp of approval to be a sport. We have two entities here, one the state legislature that's saying they need to do this, then we have what I would kind of consider the experts saying, well, we really don't have to go that way. So we'd have to have that discussion with both groups and hopefully all three groups would be able to come together with a consensus. Both groups told me they haven't been asked to weigh in on the bill, but they want to work with legislators to keep the spirit of cheerleading intact, whatever they end up calling it. For NJTV News, I'm Erin Delmore.